My name is Kelly Vaudin. I'm passionate about the future of rural communities in Newfoundland and Labrador. And safe, clean drinking water is a big part of that. For short, we call it the Newfoundland and Labrador Rural Drinking Water Project. I'm the principal investigator of the project, working with a team of researchers from both campuses, St. John's and Grenfell campus, and multiple departments, as well as community partners and uh, government partners who have a role in drinking water management. We received funding from two main sources for this project. The first was the Harris Centre RBC Drinking Water Fund, and the second was the MyTax Accelerate program, which provides funding for graduate students to work in conjunction with private sector and non-government partners. In addition to assessing the overall state of our drinking water systems in rural Newfoundland and Labrador, we're aiming to identify solutions and make recommendations for how to improve our policy, practice and research in what drinking water in the province. As of July 2013, there were 256 boil water advisories issued in the province for 256 different water supplies. That affected 184 communities in the province. But we have a lot of small communities in our province and Boil water advisories are largely a small community concern and problem. So approximately one-third of the water operators in local service districts and one-fifth of the water operators in municipalities do not have any formal certification. But many of those water operators, especially in local service districts, are volunteers. So they're putting themselves at great risk by volunteering to manage our water systems. And often communities have no choice. There are, there's no one else available to, to manage those drinking water systems. But then they're also responsible for monitoring the activities that go on in their drinking water supplies, which can be quite large. So one of the things that we identified is a need for more attention to the protection of drinking water supply areas. I hope that this will be the beginning of a, of a continued effort uh, to bring together memorial researchers to address this multifaceted problem that really needs to be addressed in an interdisciplinary fashion.